Hello friends, welcome to Sociology for Competitive Exams. I am planning to uh, explain a class 11th NCRT book introducing sociology. Uh, in this uh, book, there are five chapters. Uh, chapter 1, Sociology and Society. Chapter 2, Terms, Concepts and their Use in Sociology. Chapter 3, Understanding Social Institutions. Chapter 4, Culture and Socialization. Chapter 5, Doing Sociology. It's a good research method. Uh, this video uh, about chapter 1, Sociology and Society, especially I will be covering section 1, Introduction. So as I said, this video is about uh, section 1, Introduction. In this uh, introduction chapter, they have given 5 different advice to understand how sociology helps the students to understand the society and the various social factors. Advice 1, they have given, study hard and you will do well in life. Advice 2, they have given, uh, if you do this subject, set of subjects, you will have a better chance of getting a good job in the future. Advice 3, as a boy, this doesn't seem a correct choice of subject. And as a girl, do you think your choice of subject is a practical one? They are just giving four different advice to understand how social factors influence the job market or influence the individual's employment status. Finally, advice 4 is your family needs you to get a good job soon. So why choose a profession that will take a very long time or you will join your family business. So why do you wish to do this subject? If you analyze these four different advices, there will be social factors in these advices. If you take advice 1, study hard, you will do well in life. In this advice, there is no social factor. It's about the individual's hard work. Advice 2. It's about job market. If you choose this subject or set up subject, you will get good job. So the social factor in this advice is job market. Advice three about as a boy. If you take uh, uh, in traditional society, people would say as a boy, why are you do? Why are you studying uh, this course, uh, especially nursing course? As a girl, why are you doing mechanical engineering? So based on the social factor, especially gender, people will give this kind of advice. Advice 4, it's about socio-economic background of the individual. So here they talk about uh, the family business, the socio-economic background of the particular family. So do you think the first advice contradicts the other three? Yes, because if you take the first advice, it's purely individual hard work. Advice 2 talks about the good job employment. Talk about the job opportunity in the future. So job market is a social factor. Advice 3 about a boy or girl. So social factor is gender. Advice 4 is about the socio-economic status of the particular family. So socio-economic status is a social factor influencing the particular individual's social status. So the first advice contradicts to the other three advices. So as per the discussion, the personal effect or the job market not makes a difference. But our gender family and social background also matters to get a job. Also, just because you are putting a lot of effort, you cannot get a job. It also about social factors like what is your gender, what is your socio-economic status, where are you coming from, what is your state, what is your religion, what is your language, everything matters. So these things are social factors. So sociology will help us to understand, to analyze these various social factors, how one social factor related to another social factor. So there are other social factors that play an important role in financial outcome like a job market, socio-economic status of the particular family or an individual and gender. And can you think other factors like uh, your race, your skin color and what uh, language you speak, where are you coming from, uh, which part of the world you are in, you are from urban area or rural area, you are from city or uh, village. So these are the social factors which influence the individual's job opportunity. And who decide what is a good job? When someone says in the society, okay, particular person got a good job, suddenly who decide that it is good job? So the good job means it is different thing to different societies. It depends upon the society. If you take uh, our country, India, doing or working in a saloon shop, it's not a reputed one. If you take uh, Western countries working in a saloon uh, shop or uh, doing hair cutting job, it's a good job because they are earning plenty of money out of it. So the good job is decided by the relevant society. So what is relevant society? The relevant society is about the individual belonging to. So the sociologist will ask questions kind of which society the individual belongs to. 
to know the relevant society is it the neighborhood is it the community is it the caste or tribe is it the profession circle of the parents and is it the nation or country so the sociologist will analyze all those factors to identify who designed the term or the concept good job also do all societies have similar notions of what is a good job whether it's based on money or respect or social recognition alone the criteria individual satisfaction is a criteria to say it is the good job or culture and social norms decide what is good job so ultimately the answer is the individual student must study hard to do well but how well he does is based on the structure by a whole set of social factors or whole set of societal factors so simply the social factors structures the individual status indirectly if you take this diagram you will get a good idea about the social factor how one social factor is influencing other social factor based on the individual's education skill and knowledge he will get into a job market he will get a good job how the job vacancy will be created needs of the production needs of the economy the vacancy will be increased and based on the government policy and economic policy the production number will increase or decrease so ultimately each and every factor mentioned on the slide will influence each other finally the economic and political government policies will influence the education and skill and knowledge of the individual what scheme government frames that will help the individual to gain knowledge and skill and education based on the skill knowledge education there will be vacancy in the job market so every social factor influence each other it is interconnected one as we saw in the previous slide the chances of individual student are affected both by these uh, broader political and economic measures as well as by the social background of the individual or the family so this uh, will help us to understand how sociology studies human society as an interconnected whole and also how society and the individual interact with each other if you take a senior secondary school student he or she will be having in dilemma which subject to choose or which department which stream to choose in 11th and 12th standard so this is a personal worry suddenly not only you have the same dilemma but other students also have this kind of doubt which subject to choose so when it is individual problem that is personal worry when it comes to many people that is public issue so sociology will help us to understand how the personal worry or personal problem become public issue so finally uh, this chapter has five different themes uh, theme one it's a portion between the personal problem and public issue theme two about how the individual in modern times belongs to more than one society and how society are unequal if you take your classmate uh, he or she comes from a particular place see he belongs to particular religion that is also different like society he speaks different language uh, he belongs to particular religion he belongs to particular uh, uh, state particular country so every individual in modern society has different societal background they have unequal opportunities that will be discussed in theme 2 and theme 3 sociology as a systematic study of society this theme will help us to understand how sociology is a scientific study of society and it is not a philosophical or religious reflection or it is away from the common sense it is about scientific study so in theme 4 uh, we will talk about Uh, how uh, intellectual ideas and uh, material context developed historically and how western country mainly influenced the development of materials and ideas uh, with global consequences theme 5 we will talk about the individual biography if individual has a history uh, sociology or subject discipline also will have a history that is called biography so in theme 5 we will discuss about how sociology emerged in india with a global perspective later we will discuss about the scope of sociology and its relationship with other disciplines like anthropology political science uh, psychology and economics so these themes are to be discussed uh, in the upcoming classes namely section 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 so by this slide i conclude this uh, video to listen to this video in tamil you can subscribe to uh, sociology in tamil youtube channel also watch my other videos for more videos subscribe to my youtube channel i'll be uploading more videos thank you